Uh, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another Fios Distro tutorial. Uh, this distro is based on Arch Linux, as you know. So, uh, let's cut it short. Uh, I've cut the video in uh, minute 4 because my uh, camera is kind of buggy and I wasn't seen in the first 4 minutes, therefore I'm just reshooting this first 4 minutes. And after that, the video will continue from so on. So, this is the initial look of this distro. If you hit Super and 11, it will automatically open up a camera. And you can resize it with uh, holding your right click uh, as well as your Windows button. And if you want to move it, just hold your Windows button and just drag it uh, wherever you want. So what's new, what's not new? Uh, as you can see, there is a cool kind of bar here. Uh, all of the top bar are clickable. Uh, as well as we have nine layouts. Currently, as you can see, I am using three. Uh, if you just click on these, uh, it will automatically send you to that layout. Also, you can right click here to see available layouts. Uh, I'm not going to explain all of these, just try to understand. Uh, also, I've uh, written so much scripts. If you are uh, using Arch Linux and if you want to try my DWM, please ensure that you have my dot files. Uh, otherwise, most of the things will be broke because uh, all of my scripts are in my dot files. So, for example, what you can say so for example uh, there's kind of good looking like uh, this uh, volume icon I've also added mute to that so I'm currently on my uh, desktop computer therefore I can show you all however if you are using your laptop uh, you can increase your keyboard brightness decrease your keyboard brightness or brightness etc all of them is like binded in GNOME so I have written all of the scripts for them uh, also it includes touchpad tab too uh, if you have touchpad button on your laptop to disable it, it will, I think it will probably work. Uh, also, so let's continue. So, uh, if you want to know how I did all this, just uh, go and check out my dot files, look up my scripts. Uh, also, if you are using double monitors, normally window manages actually DWM it has a kind of hard configuration to arrange double monitors as well as refresh rate. Uh, therefore, I've written a small script to that too. So if you hit Windows and F5, uh, it will show you a pretty pop-up menu. Uh, you can use Ctrl, J and K to uh, navigate between these. So for example, I am using two monitors now. I have chosen multi-monitor, no display. Uh, I have selected my primary display. Uh, I have selected my primary display's refresh rate, the other ones. And to the left, it will automatically rearrange your uh, monitors. Left, right, above, uh, whichever position you want as well as your chosen refresh rate. Just uh, hit Windows and F5 to be able to do that. So if you are curious about uh, how I did the, all of this and if you didn't understand much of much from this video, you can always go to my GitHub account and I've pretty much written a big documentation in here. Uh, if you just follow along the documentation, you will uh, successfully install everything. Uh, also, if you are not using Arch Linux and if you are wondering uh, Arch Linux and if you find the installation a little bit hard, difficult because it's just on terminal and I think it's not much user friendly because I think people don't want any more people to use Arch Linux. I don't know why actually. Uh, just go on my, yes, this link here, my GitLab. Uh, just uh, git pull this. Uh, as you can see, this is a disk image file. This is an ISO file. Uh, just burn this ISO file according to here. Uh, by the way, I will extend all of this documentation. Note that this is still on beta release. There could be some various bugs, but small ones. I literally checked most of them. If you are curious about how I did all this, just uh, go to instructions on here. Try this. Burn it to a USB and just start it. You can uh, try it without installing to your computer by the way it will be a pre-installed ISO in the USB so if you like the ISO you can just uh, go and continue checking out that so yes uh, I'm cutting the video now video will continue from now on where I've cut from so see you guys here if you hit enter now it will automatically rearrange your windows and rearrange your uh, refresh rate so as you can see it is not flickering now. Uh, also in dragging, it's pretty much, much, much more smoother than the other one. So the basics are to open up a terminal, you just hit caps lock and enter. By the way, where are our, where is our keys? Let me open it again. So one second, please. So 
So it dies for this. All right, we are good to go. So caps lock enter to open up a terminal. Uh, by the way, you have some good key bindings in terminal. If you know Linux a bit, uh, you know that ls lists your directories. Uh, if you omit the s in ls, just press l, it will show you a pretty good uh, view like this. And if you want a tree view, so for example, let's go to my codes, or let's go to my DWM build actually. If you hit LT here, it will automatically pop up a good tree view with uh, kind icons. Uh, you can configure all of these, by the way. If you hit caps lock and enter again, it will open up a new terminal. Uh, and as well as the top bar here is all clickable. So for example, let me show you. For example, I wonder what the weather will be in the next three days. If you hit that, it will automatically open up a full screen application and you can see uh, what weather will be on what day. Uh, it will be give you a three day forecast. Also, uh, this Bitcoin and Ethereum prices are just symbols. You can change them if you want. I will show you in a later video how to change them. If you click this, uh, it will automatically open Cointop, which is a simple terminal a graphic view for cryptocurrency. You can favorite your cryptocurrencies here, and if you hit Shift and F, the capital F, you will show it will show you the favorite coins that you currently have. Uh, also. Uh, the notifications are kind of pretty, I think. So, for example, if you hit volume down, it will automatically open up a pretty cool display uh, notification in the center of your window. Uh, also, only the notifications and the important ones are in the top center. Other ones will be in the top right corner. So, for example, let me show you. If I just send a notification here, so for example, like this, it will automatically pop up in the rightmost corner, not in the center one. Only important notifications like system, uh, I don't know, uh, brightness, etc., sound, or touchpad. So, for example, I have a script called touchpad tab. Uh, if you hit the touchpad button in your laptop, if you're using one, uh, it will automatically enable and disable your mouse touchpad. I've all, all pre configured this in scripts. So, you can use whatever you want. So, for example, let's look at the file manager now. Uh, it's by default using LF or file manager. You could try this. It's pretty nice application and it's pretty fast. So for example, uh, let's go to somewhere like here. All right, so let's open some C++ problems. Uh, it comes with a pre-default NeoVim, by the way. After your installation, you just need to hit an NVIM dash packersync and it will automatically install all of the packages, okay? So let's open a file now, a programming file. Let's open this one. Uh, as you can see, uh, all of them are pre-configured and it has uh, much more features. So for example, if you hit F1, it will open a, a, a pop-up window in the leftmost corner of your uh, NeoVim terminal. And you can uh, just hit J and K to uh, operate between them. And if you hit enter, it will automatically open up in a new uh, tab. By the way, all of these tabs are clickable, uh, like VS Code or uh, currently used, I don't know, IDEs like PyCharm, etc. Also, it supports a pretty fast compilation, pretty fast uh, auto-completion. So let me show it to you now. So for example, I just want to write a simple for loop with C++. Let's call it a.cpp. Uh, as you can see, Language server protocol automatically completes most of the uh, tiring stuff that I don't want to type out. As well as it supports snippets. What are snippets? If you are using VS Code, uh, as you can see, it's stating that for init statement, blah, blah, statements. If you hit tab here, for example, for int i equals zero, i smaller than 100, then c out i. Then let's put up a little space here. Uh, and for C++, uh, and I think also C, if you hit Shift and C, uh, macro, this is a macro by the way, it will automatically run your C++ file. Uh, also, this is supported for various languages too. So for example, let me show it to you now. If you just uh, write a file, uh, if you just open up a Python file, let's say that for i in range, 100, uh, print i, what was this, and will be this. All right. If you hit Shift P now, 
it will automatically run your Python file. Uh, also, it supports Go too. So, for example, let's open up a Go file now. Let's call this a.go. So, package main, uh, func main. Uh, what was this? For i equals 100, for i equals 0. I am sorry, i is smaller than 100. i plus plus fmt dot. Uh, by the way, as you can see, it automatically imported fmt. That's a feature, by the way. And fmt dot. Actually, not print, then just print, then i. If you hit shift g, uh, I'm sorry, fmt dot print i, then let's put a space. It will automatically run your Go files too. Uh, if you hit, by the way, not shift g but shift h, it will automatically run a Go project without building it. Uh, these are all macros, you can check it out from my github if you want, my dot files configure all of this. Uh, as well as if you are curious about some programs like, I don't know, CPU usage, if you are running a, a hard application, a system resourceful application, just hit caps lock and P and you can monitor your system like this. Uh, also, if you are using NVIDIA, uh, if you hit caps lock Alt and P or Super Windows Alt and P. It will automatically open up your GPU. You can monitor your GPU too. Uh, also, it has a, a stress test. If you are wondering your CPU is working correctly, you can just stress your CPU here just by clicking it, by the way. Uh, these are all just simple programs. You can use them however you want. I've just added these because they are just small programs. So caps lock W opens up a uh, browser, so let's just open up some programs here. So, for example, if you want to uh, change between windows, you just use uh, super J plus K. Uh, by the way, as you can see, uh, whatever window is not focused, if it's a terminal or uh, NeoVim, as you can see in the right, uh, it will automatically make it some blurriness with a cool effect, I think. Uh, I think this is pretty good because you know what you are currently working at, uh, and as you can see, normally the borders of the focused window has blue borders, the other ones have just grayed out. Uh, therefore, you can see whatever you are uh, using currently. <coughs> uh, Alright, so let's continue. What is more? Actually, I forgot because there are so much key bindings. Let's look at the keys now. Uh, ah, yeah, uh, I forgot to talk about uh, layouts now. So, for example, Alt through 1 to 9 is all different layouts. Uh, I encourage you to try this because I can't explain them to you. You need to use them to understand what's going on. So, for example, now I'm in the tiling layout. If I hit uh, Alt and 2, uh, it will automatically be in the back stack layout. You can think of it as like a, a reversed layout of a stack layout. If you hit Alt 3, it will open automatically the monocle layout. Uh, what is monocle layout? Uh, monocle layout is actually pretty simple. It just takes the windows on top of another. So what's more? Uh, yeah, this is the deck layout. Actually, I don't use this that much. However, I just put them to you, your use. Uh, deck layout goes like this. It splits window in half. Uh, left side is the master window. So there is just one stack here and other windows just stack top on another like monocle layout uh, in the right window. Uh, this is the spiral layout, so let me open up some more terminals to understand what's going on. Oops, let me take this. So as you can see, it goes on a spiral. I think this is also called Fibonacci. Uh, I'm not sure, by the way. Or maybe this is Fibonacci. Yeah, this is Fibonacci. So these are just different layouts. Normally, I don't use that them that much. However, I just put them to use if someone wants to use them. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, this is the centered floating master layout. So it goes like this. Uh, there is one uh, window on the center and the other ones are just on the behind. Uh, it's not pretty much useful. So let's continue. Ah, yes. Uh, so this is the three column layout. Uh, there are no borders in this. And you can use, by the way, Caps lock H and L to uh, resize your windows, by the way. I think I missed one, yes. Uh, this is pretty cool layout. So, uh, one window is on center and other windows will always stack on another. Uh, left and right side, so 
the biggest one, the master one, will always be in the center and it will always uh, have a single window. The other ones will always stack on top of another. So if I create just some more terminals here, as you can see, it will create on the left and right most sides. So, all right, let's continue now. What is more? Uh, by the way, if you are wondering that, for example, I want to move that window, move this browser to left, left uh, you need to press Windows and Shift and J and K will automatically move your windows between uh, your layout if you want to move windows in your layout. Also, uh, as you know, it supports some uh, pretty cool features too. So, for example, uh, I am in this location here. By the way, I've written a small script. Uh, that script takes your current location in your terminal and it automatically sets the window title to it. So you may be asking that why is this useful so let me show it to you for example let's assume that i have some uh, different programs open here different terminals and actually let's open one more so so let's go to first thoughts i don't know so as you can see i have now uh, three different terminals and i want to go to the dwm window so to be able to do that uh, as you know this Window Manager supports Alt Tab, by the way. And normally it doesn't. I've just written a small patch to it. And you can use uh, Control J and K to navigate between these. So, for example, why did I did that? As you can see, dwm os is uh, what I want to focus. And if I just hit Enter, it will automatically warp my pointer to destination. Also, it will change my current desktop to whichever it is in. So, I think it's a pretty cool feature. So, for example, if I want to go to Chromium. Uh, also, if you don't want to navigate, you can use uh, your super and number keys too. It will automatically send you to that location too. As you can see, my cursor is now in the uh, browser window. Uh, sorry, I'm drinking so much. Uh, I was a bit sick. Uh, sorry for that. <laughs> so what's more? What's more? Uh, by the way, you can change layouts uh, by just right clicking here and learn the layout names if you want. I don't think that's much useful by the way. So what's more, if you just click, right click in the uh, clock, it will show up the current date to you. If you are wondering what day it is, or if you are asking why is there no date here. Uh, I didn't put the whole date because I think it's using pretty much space. Therefore, only clock is better. If you want to not learn the date, just right click to it. Uh, also, I can't show you all of the features now because I'm not on my laptop. I don't have camera on my laptop. It's weird actually. Uh, if you are using a laptop, you will show it will show a pretty simple uh, battery icon there. Also, it will show you if it's discharging or charging or etc. Uh, also, mute buttons work too. And if sound goes to critical, it will automatically change color to red. Uh, as well as this goes for battery too. Uh, also, if you just click the uh, rightmost button here, it will open automatic network manager to you. Therefore, you can choose your wireless configurations from here. I don't have Wi-Fi in my desktop computer, therefore you can just see wired connection here. So this is taking pretty long. I want to cut it short. So what's more? Uh, you can show the icon, whichever window you are focused at currently. So for example, in SD, this is this icon. I've just created this. You can change this in my SD config if you want. Uh, if you just change focus of your windows, it will automatically change that icon too. So to sum up, I think it's pretty much it. Uh, what's more? What's more? Oh, I think there's some more. So for example, let's assume that I'm in SD and I just hit an ls command. And I want to copy the output of that ls command. Uh, if you just hit alt plus o there, uh, it will automatically say that copy which commands output. And if you hit enter ls, it will automatically copy the output of your uh, desired command. Also, this will just be in the scope of this current terminal, uh, not all of the uh, commands before previous you write. Just know that. So for example, let's say that we've just recatted this file, a.go, and I want to copy the output of it. If I just hit enter here, it will automatically copy the output of that uh, command for me. Uh, what's more? There is some more. So, actually, 
yeah actually I think this is pretty much it so what can I show you more uh, actually you guys try on uh, if you want so for example brightness works too uh, touchpad toggle works too I've also written a small script for keyboard backlights so all of them are supported so as you can see there are some mouse actions here uh, what are the mouse actions so for example if you hit uh, with your third button here it will automatically hide that status bar also uh, super plus b works for that too uh, also i'm sorry i forgot that so for example if you want to make up a full screen to your window just hit super f it will automatically uh, make that screen full screen i'm sorry i repeated that much uh, actually to sum up uh, this is pretty much it uh, by the way you can change these icons uh, but be sure to know what you are doing if you are uh, not sure about what you are doing it will crash the system everything is like strictly connected strictly connected uh, therefore just be sure if you don't know what you are doing i just don't help with these because i'm i can't catch up to everyone okay so uh, to sum up uh, actually this is it guys so if you want to try the iso uh, i think there is some good tutorial on my dwm dash files uh, be sure to check my dot files too if you just want to try the iso uh, just click this and it will redirect you to my gitlab account and just uh, do this uh, after that just plug into the usb and reboot your computer you can try the live iso by the way i will uh, completely make a tutorial about how to install all of these uh, also as you might know uh, i've written a Calamera script to install all of these therefore if you are wondering how Arch Linux works, works or if you want to try this you can try this pretty much easily you, it will install everything in like six or seven slides with uh, zero code you are not going to code anything you are just going to hit next 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 it will automatically install everything beside your windows if you want so for example I have two operating systems in this computer now windows and this uh, you can install it pretty much easily without uh, nuking your windows system so uh, just go and check out my uh, dwm-files in my github account it pretty much has a uh, good documentation if you are thinking that i've missed something please tell it to me so that i can add them uh, also uh, if you are using my dot files and if you are wondering why i are they different because i've i am updating my dot files pretty much good like every two, two or three days uh, if you want to update dot files just uh, write this command write this script file dot files it will automatically install all of my uh, pre-configured dot files to your system uh, by the way it also has a cool power menu if you hit super and backspace uh, it will show you the uh, power menu you can navigate between these with h j and k and l i am sorry h and l actually so the leftmost one uh, this is logout uh, this one is lock uh, middle one is shut down obviously uh, this one is reboot and the other one is uh, renew dwm so why renew the dwm uh, if some kind of glitch happened or i don't know if you pre-configured your dwm by yourself or if you changed configuration on your dwm and installed it uh, you need to restart it uh, if you just uh, go to the rightmost one and hit enter it will automatically restart your dwm without closing your uh, computer by the way or logging out so this is it for today guys uh, next in the upcoming days after i finish my website uh, i will shoot out more tutorials also i will shoot out more uh, neowim tutorials too because you guys are wanting it so see you in the next next video guys take care